Hey guys, I'm Don Lundre and this is the third video in the Build With Me series where I show you guys how I put together the 3D printed OpenRC F1 car. In this video we're going to build the front assembly which will hopefully look something like this uh, when we're done. As you can see here there are no parts for the steering yet uh, and that's because I want to keep these videos somewhat short and I want to add some words uh, on the server saver especially so I'm saving that for, uh, for another video. So enough about that, let's get to it! Okay so these are the parts needed to put together the front assembly. I usually start by mounting the top plate to the boom block. You can set the top and the bottom plate apart by their different uh, hole, uh, hole patterns. So I usually start by putting the M3 nuts in their pockets like that. Uh, and it's important to note that the little cutout points in the same direction as this, this lip here. To mount these two together we use M3 by 8 screws. Let's see. There we go. M3 by 8. Once again. And when that's secure in place, like that, we put the uh, steering box in place. These are also also M3 by 8. They should move freely. They also point in the same direction as this lip. This is what we got now. It's time to put the bottom plate on. Okay, so here's where the uh, servo saver is going to go. Uh, I'm going to save that for the next video because there's some things I want to explain about the uh, servo saver and my thoughts on that. Uh, but uh, and also we're going to save these two M3 nuts and these two screws because we need those when we're going to put these uh, on the chassis plate later. But for now, we're going to put these ones in place, the wheel's um, axle. And uh, here I use M3 by 10 millimeters, some slightly longer screws. And uh, there are actually some remixes of this on Thingiverse, I think, where these are all one part, so you won't need this screw. Alright, so this is what we got now. In the next video we'll put the steering pins in place. We will put the servo saver in place. I will explain my thoughts uh, behind the servo saver. And we will put this one uh, in place on the uh, chassis plate. Alright, thanks for watching. Uh, if there are any questions or anything unclear about this, uh, just uh, post a comment, let me know, and I'll try to answer them best as I can. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video.